Okay, well, the original question is about area, so let's go ahead and find the area of this trapezoid, right? With this picture, lop this off, slap it over here, and reconstruct the graph trapezoid into a rectangle whose dimensions are width by the average of the graph altitude, right? Okay? So area, well, we can do that. I mean, you know, here. Now, implicitly, this is the midpoint, right? So we can actually draw this picture. And if you didn't immediately get this or didn't get it pretty quickly, you really need to be in the habit of drawing that picture to prompt you for what to do. The picture is easy to remember. It's worth 10,000 words or something like that. Okay? And that prompts you to say, okay, well, let's see. This altitude is halfway between this one and this one, right? Mm -hmm. How do you get a number halfway between two numbers? You add them and divide by two, which I believe everybody knows. Yeah. Okay? You can average them. Okay? Average can mean many different things, but we know what it means in this case. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay? So, well, the two numbers are f of xi minus 1 and f of xi. That will be written out again, but I'm just saying add this to this and divide by 2, right? Okay, and then what's the width? Well, how do you know how far it is from one point on the x-axis to another? Um, if I give you two numbers in the x-axis, how do you determine how far they are apart? Subtract. You subtract one from the other and take the absolute value just in case you subtracted the smaller one from the bigger. Mm -hmm. Or uh, that, that other thing, bigger from the smaller. Okay? So the width is this minus this, right? Mm -hmm. So now we've got a rectangle with this altitude and this width. So and since I'm not squeezed by the board, I think I can write this out in the space I've got. It's f of x i plus f of x i minus 1 over 2, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is not a formula to memorize. You know, once you write down this picture, and there's a good sensible way why you want to write down this picture, mm -hmm. everything else is straightforward. You just write it out, okay? So why memorize a big long formula for something that you can relate in about 10 seconds if you've done it a few times to a picture, right? Now go ahead and memorize the formula too, just for good measure, in case you freak out or something, okay? And have to resort to a formula, but if you use a formula, whenever possible, know where it comes from and know how to redevelop it, right? Mm -hmm. now, there, you know, there are too many formulas in the world to be able to do that with every possible thing. Sometimes you just got to memorize this ain't one of the cases, because there's a lot of insight in understanding where it comes from. Because then you know how to use it. Okay? And you know what its limitations are. Anyhow, so you got that, and you multiply that by the width, which is xi minus xi minus 1. So if you understand how the numbers work, you just pretend these are numbers. Ask yourself, what would I do with the numbers? Well, I'm going to do that with these symbols, right? Okay? So there it is. That's your area. So now I can write... Yeah, I'm not going to do the camera, but I could write that in a circle here, right? Okay, it's going to be kind of hard to write it that small and make it legible. Um, and the slope. What's the slope? Okay, well... Superimpose a green triangle on this whole mess. But actually, I'll just 
So I got a triangle here and a triangle here. Which triangle should I use to calculate the slope? It doesn't make a bit of difference. Whichever one's easier to label. Okay? Now, this, either of these triangles has a run and it has a rise, right? Mm -hmm. If you're going from here to here, on this triangle, you're going to do the rise before the run, but that doesn't make any difference. You're going to get the same numbers, right? Mm -hmm. So, what's the rise? Uh, it's going to be U5. I'm sorry? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be this height minus this, right? Yeah. Now that might come out positive or negative, depending on whether the thing goes up or down. That, that doesn't matter. The symbols don't care. Okay? So the rise is f of xi minus f of xi minus 1. Because what do you do? You subtract this from this. That's how you get the rise. Everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. Okay? And the run is this, right? So the slope is what? Well, it's going to be this divided by this, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't have room to write that because I've not left myself enough room on the board, but I'll kind of leave that to you. It's going to be f of xi minus f of xi minus 1 divided by xi minus xi minus 1, right? Mm -hmm. Okay.